Up next, we got a segment we call Epic Battles, where we take uh, two characters from fiction, pop culture, anything, yeah. and uh, we have them fight to the death for our and your amusement. Uh, I'll lead us off today with a battle between a space elf and a regular elf. All right. Uh, with Drizzt Du Erden, returning champion after his fight with I don't remember because he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, he doesn't matter because yeah. he's dead. And Karandras, uh, Phoenix Lord of the Striking Scorpion uh, uh, Aspect Warrior cult. Man. Armed with a uh, mandible blasters, okay. uh, chain sword. And uh, Power Fist, it's a Scorpion Claw. Well, Drizzt, of course, armed with Twinkle and Icing Death. Yeah. And his boots that make him, his, sorry, anklets that make him run fast and one the bar. Yep. Because he has equipment. <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah. He's got that on him. Yeah. Yeah. Other people have a cat, he has a cat in his pocket. Fighting in the standard Tabletop Talkers gladiatorial arena. Yep. Uh, to explain again to the fans, we've created... A one million seat arena for these guys to fight in. All right, it's about ten football fields big. All right, it's got like the strongest adamantium, so you can fly about a hundred feet. We'll say a hundred feet. Yeah, is the dome, but you can't fly through it. Nothing can fly through it. Yeah. We've gotten medals from all over the galaxy to make this dome, so nobody can fly through it. Yeah. There's a uh, Olympic sized swimming pool yeah. that's a hundred foot deep. Yeah. All right. It has a dome made of pure plot to make sure that people can't exactly. get out. Exactly, can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The, uh, it's got ground, but it goes down maybe 100 feet. So everything's about 100 foot either way. So there's some water in there. There's some ground if somebody has to dig or something or yeah. can drive people through. But essentially it's a giant sphere of impenetrable plot that yeah. they can't get out of. All right. And it's all of us are watching them fight in there. So, it's just to make it a little more even, all right? So, any equipment that they have on them, they can bring in there. But you can't bring, like, your team, yeah. you know, unless specifically stated. Yeah. All right. So, all right. Karandras versus Drizzt. All right. So, the Mandible Blasters, do you think Drizzt can just block those? The Mandible Blasters, I believe, are just uh, little blaze guns. Okay. So... He could possibly deflect those with his mm -hmm. with his with the swords, but the thing is, is he's got a sword, a power claw, and those blasters. Yeah. So as he's fighting, he can go, oh, orcs, boom. Yeah. Orcs call uh, striking scorpions daca faces. Yeah, yeah. So he's shooting at you while also mm -hmm. double that attacking. That being said, Drizdu Erden always wins. <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been hurt. He's been hurt, and he's almost lost fights. Yeah, but he hasn't actually lost fights. Yeah, and I, and even the host, uh, the aspect host. Yeah, the yeah. whole aspect host is based off of the guy dies in combat, and someone else puts someone on else the, does it. Yeah, so yeah, it's a nameless yeah nameless Eldar in that suit. Whereas so we've got to give it to Driz then. We, so sadly, so he he's doing it something. It will be a long. And very yeah. cinematic fight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it'll probably come down to the anklets, really. Mm -hmm. If Driz has to win this, then we have to figure out how. He He's probably just too far, too fast around him. Yeah. Cut, maybe it cuts off the hand with the claw in it. Does, like, the face strafing. Yeah, and yeah, face yeah. Strafing. Shoots him with his face lasers. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, As he's... Maybe he turns his head too far, and then... Starts cutting some cables with his magic swords. Yeah, done. No more blasters. Now you gotta fight me with your fucking sword. Just blocks the teeth of the chain th sword with his supposedly indestructible magic sword. Bam. We figured it out. Yeah, he won. Yeah. Alright, so now I have got a battle of two blind men. Ooh. Rom Coda from uh, the Force Unleashed video games. Yeah. Did I master Ram Coda? And Matt Murdock, blind. Lawyer from Hell's Kitchen. As seen on Netflix. Are they just having a fist fight? Um, I'm going to say 
that the the metal in his um in his in his the, 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 new the, Billy Club is Wakandan vibranium, vibranium alloy that something. stops yeah. lightsabers. Stops lightsabers. Okay. It's, it has we the have same, to give him something. Vibranium is Beskar. Yeah. In okay. our universe. Okay. okay. Vibranium is Beskar. Yeah. Right. So he can use. Ron Coden Coden needs to use his lightsaber. Yeah. Because he's really not much without that, except for like force tricks. Yeah. And. How does Matt overcome the force tricks? There's no cues. Aside well, there maybe, isn't much he can do with the force in our arena. There isn't yeah. much he can throw. Oh, no, I meant, well, Ram is one of the few, and by few I mean many, I guess, all things considered, that yeah. can do the repulse. Yeah, Just yeah. Just a wall of force in every direction. And yes, he can't throw Matt against walls, He can't. He can, but he can't throw Matt against the floor. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Or throw him high up in the, high enough in the air where yeah. Matt can't grab a hold of anything. It has yeah. to just fall. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Coda didn't have any mind affecting things, which it would have actually probably fucked Matt up. Yeah, uh, he's not. He, we never seen kind of like really hell of a fight tricks. I'm I'm actually probably gonna give this to Matt because I think Matt has a little more determination. Oh, Matt's got the grit and determination to come out on top. But he's going to be bloody yeah, and broken by the end. Yeah, of it. he. I think, I think he probably has a, a a limp the rest of his life from a a, a lightsaber scar. I would scar. say he. I would say fatal injuries. I don't think he would come back from that many broken back? bones. Yeah. Like, cause, Coda would just start force crushing, at some point. If Matt does it quick enough, he can just knock him out, and then I he don't... has it. Like Billy Club to the Remember head. The de- I'm just... assuming this is like the combat itself would be like Daredevil show combat, where it, you can't just instantly knock a dude out with something. Yeah. Well, with his Billy Club, yeah, he, he does. With his Billy yeah. Club, he does, but Ram Coda fought in the Clone Wars. Yeah, but a pipe to the head. A pipe to the head is just a pipe to the head. Yeah, it just knocks anybody out, you know? Just like if you said the butt of a lightsaber to the yeah, back of Matt's like head, it's going to knock on... him out. Yeah, and he is just a side character, whereas Matt is a main character. Matt, it's got, that thing's got a grappling hook. For it's a, got, all right. Ultimately, for a similar reason as Driz. And as soon as yeah. he realizes, Ram Coda's <laughs> blind. Oh, I was trained by blind man. I know all about blind combat. I have fought, some, you know, other people that rely on tricking my senses. I know how to trick other people's senses. He would not blind. be able to hit Matt at all with the lightsaber because it's louder than a sword moving through the air. And I think that Matt has a... Because Matt isn't just about hearing. Yeah. He can taste your sweat Yeah. when you walk in the room. He can feel the air pressure change as something passes by We're him. We're forgetting about the, the other aspect of it. Battle between two good men. Yeah. With strong moral codes about not killing See, this is why I think, I, think, I think it comes down to just Matt knocks him out. I don't think there's a killing. Yeah. And I don't think Ron Coda, you know, would do something to kill Matt. And I think that's the thing that would make Matt... Coda would probably ask at the start out. of the fight whether or not Matt could manipulate the Force or something equivalent. And when Matt responds negatory, they would probably just hold back, which would be his death. Because, uh... I think the problem would be is Ron Coda <laughs> wouldn't... <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't if he's got somebody beaten, right? He's not gonna go all. He's the not way. gonna st- continue to punch him. He's not gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> Matt is a guy who's like, you made me come out here and made me have to do this. I don't care if you're knocked out. I'm making sure I at least break a rib. Yeah. So that you don't forget this. Bram Coda isn't like I'm gonna scar this guy so he yeah. doesn't forget this. Yeah. For a second, Matt I would. For some reason, I took out the inhibitions on Coda, forgetting that he's a Jedi. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just he wouldn't. All right, this one you know, goes that to scene Matt. When, ah, when he's this just one goes to Matt, but guy. there's not. But I don't believe it would be any sort of aggression. No, it's not. It, it was just because we made them. Yeah, like we do something to them. This is a we're not Matt Hatter hat, and they yeah. they have to fight. Yeah. All right. So my next one this cannot take place in any arena. Oh, I know what it is. We have the Loki Pokey stick. We can just make anybody yeah. we want when we poke them fight. Yeah. All right. There Bam. we go. All right. All right. Battle not in the gladiatorial arena, but the corporate arena. Mm. Wayne Tech versus Oscorp. Ooh. Wayne Tech focusing on uh, non-lethal uh, uh, anti 
personnel munitions, yeah. and pretty much everything else that Wing Tech does, which is everything that Stark Tech does, which is everything that Apple and Mitsubishi does. Uh, whereas Oscorp mostly focuses on chemical production, but has an almost monopoly in that sector in the Marvel Universe. Don't they all, do they have R and D programs for they like have, animatronics and all that? Oh like yes, that stuff? they got. Did they develop the yeah, Scorpion the, suit? Both of their uh, well. Oscorp developed the Scorpion suit, but it was funded by J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, the serum also, the Scorpion serum, not people, many, many people know that there's a Scorpion serum. Yeah, there's yeah. A Scorpion serum. I think that was in the co cartoon, too. Yes, it yeah. was. Uh, that, that was true part from comics. Cool. Um, obviously, the Goblin serum, which in Ultimates had much, has a much more logical explanation into them, them are trying to reproduce the Super Soldier serum from yeah. Captain America. Makes sense. Uh... Wayne Tech doesn't focus on that. It has a lot more humanitarian focus. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to determine who would win based off of just, you know... It comes down to corporate, corporate like, leverage, I yeah. think. Okay, so Oscorp develops a new pad. A new, like... Ozpad. Yeah, Ozpad. <laughs> and then he comes up with Wayne Pad. And they're going to sue each other. Yeah. And they need to grease the right wheels... And figure out who wins this lawsuit. I think it's Wayne Tech, man. I think it's Wayne Tech has too, his hand in too much stuff. As Oscorp is like, yeah, Oscorp, we're here, we're making a lot. Oscorp, he can grease all the right wheels really quickly, though. Because Wayne Tech, everything that's good about capitalist, corporate, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oscorp, everything that's bad and corrupt about capitalist, corporate, blah, blah, I don't blah. think they're as big as Wayne. Like... You know, like when you when oh no, they're not. Like the Stark coast... was in a place. Where he went to that like foreign country, and he sees it like the bombs. They, you know, Stark, Stark Industries. You know, like that's the kind of thing that would happen with Wayne Tech. Yeah. You know, uh, there'd be a chemical fire in Uganda, yeah. and you and you would say Oscorp on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like I, I just don't see Oscorp. Okay, simply due to different yeah. scales. Yeah, I think that that it's all ever about so corporate slightly power. different yeah. scales. They're both. Because Different who level. has the money makes the... Apple's one of the biggest companies in America. Why do you think they get to do whatever they want to do? You know, even though we, we see them as, like, a good company, you know, like... Right. What about other... Stark Tech, then? Stark Tech, I have to, you have to give it Stark Tech, actually. <laughs> yeah, because Tony is not yeah, averse to doing... Yeah, Secretary of State for a while. Bullshit, yeah. Tony Stark was Secretary of freaking State. Yeah. He, he, would, he, would, he, would, he would learn that... All the computer systems hack all the shit. He's he's willing to do all that yeah. to to take over a company. He would see it as like I'm doing a good thing. I'm helping. Yeah. This, you know. Yeah. Gotham City's riddled crime. What the hell? Water is wet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So my next epic battle, the Riddler. All right. Mm -hmm. Little uh, Enigma, Edward Enigma, versus Rorschach. Rorschach. I know. I just wanted to figure out how he would do it. <laughs> like, you just walk up while he was like, Hello, I've sent a bomb to everybody you know. When is an answer not an answer? Hmm. When it's subjective. <laughs> Rorschach tests. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I suddenly turned this into Riddler thing. Yeah. But... Those two fighting would be cool, but it would not be a very long arc. No, most of it, I just would, think be, it would be would be like. Herm. Just, Rorschach doesn't have anything that you could really put on the line that he wouldn't just. I'll go straight to you and kill you. Yeah. Like, like yeah. Okay, I'll let that that school children blow up. It's fine. I'm coming to get you. The Riddler has built the labyrinth again in the Batman animated series episode called The Labyrinth, where he made his first appearance as the Riddler. Is Rorschach, without the help of Robin or Batman, able to maneuver through that labyrinth and defeat the Riddler? As, obviously, the Riddler is no match for, for him, so there's okay. got to be something in the way. Okay. So we give him the labyrinth, he sets it up in the arena, All right. Rorschach's at one end of it, has to maneuver his way through. Does, okay. Is he able? Is he as well learned to recognize the sharps and the flats? Is he able to just hack the hand and start cheating at one point? I think he could figure out a way to hack the hack the thing. And I cheat. think he'd just climb up onto the use his grappling hook, climb up onto the upper section of the walls, and then walk along the top. Yeah, 
I think he would. Yeah, it, there won't yes! be. Much. I think it's it's like four pages long while the Riddler's just going through a diatribe of why he's doing it, monologuing. You know, and then, like, monologuing into a microphone. Yeah, so he's just pontificating in a then, room, and, thinking he's perfectly safe. And then, all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah. just a perm. Yeah. HRM. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's really short. Yeah. No, no, no. I just thought it would be funny. He'd shoot the grappling hook over one of the rafters. It'd come down, and then he'd tie a noose with it. And then just to, and then retract the grappling hook and pull them all the way up. <laughs> all right. Your next one. My next one. Ooh. Okay. Captain Marvel. Shazam. Okay. All right. Versus Captain Marvel. Carol Danvers. Ooh. Um, Carol Danvers, by the way, due to weird Cree shenanigans, is able to absorb many types of energy. So it is not known if she is able to absorb magic. Has she ever fought anybody with magic? Like, uh, Thor? Um... She has. Uh, she is... It is still, like I said, questionable. <laughs> well, she's smart. She's military. She's... Like... I think she, she'd outsmart Billy, you know? Wisdom of Solomon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Solomon's wisdom was to cut a baby in half and give yeah, it was half to, to cut, each woman. Yeah. And they were like, no, we don't want to do that. And he's like, ah, see? I'm fucking smart. You want to... Well, yeah, but one of them it was to get... That's one not of them. that... That's a it, it, parable. It's not the wisdom. Yeah. He's but, got lightning. But he's operating he off of the crazy pseudo biblical stuff that they apply to it in DC, so he is super wise when he's Captain Marvel. Okay, so he, she's gonna fool him. Yeah, she's not gonna be able to trick him. All right. She might. Alright, when it comes to like titty flashing, that's something else that might, entirely, and yeah. she would do that. If she realizes it's a kid. Yeah, if she knows it's a kid, yeah. she'd be like. He'd go, huh? and then sucker punch. Yeah, he'd be a child, and she'd be like, alright, I'm not going to kill the kid. Which would probably come up in the fight, because that's really how he's written. Somebody would figure out he's really naive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, uh, the, so he would say something like... Unless we Loki pokey him. If he was the one we Loki pokey so it would be an actual... We have to Loki pokey both of them. Yes, we do. Yeah. Alright, so they're just going to fight. Personalities aren't going to really come into effect. Uh... Well, they do, because... It, yeah, it's it, still, you're, you're still you, yeah. but you're just being controlled. Yeah. So uh, you're, you're uh, going to an end, but he wouldn't... I think it's still, that's the way it goes down. Because once you get knocked out, you're fine. And yeah. like, they knocked him out, and he woke up and said, oh, yeah, good. Can she knock him out, though, is the thing. Superman has trouble fighting Billy. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it just be a trick, and then he's just like, ow. And Superman has knocked out the Hulk. It wasn't one punch. Whereas when uh, Carol fought the Hulk, she hammered on his face for a good three pages. And then he was just like, you done? <laughs> <laughs> and then she was in orbit. Jeez. So, yeah. as far as strength and endurance goes, I'm going to have to give it to... Uh, to Shazam. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Yeah, because, yeah, if... Well... She's a better fighter. Yeah. He doesn't seems, need to be a better fighter. Yeah. He can Shazam lightning her a bunch, and then she'll probably... Yeah, and it's unknown, up. like I said, it's on 50-50 shot as to whether or not she can... Yeah. But if she can, there is a, a second secondary, like, almost Super Saiyan-style state she can go into where uh, she's, oh, like, so she binary. Might, like... Even... She... It, it's cosmic strong, and usually it only interact. It only goes into it when she's in space, fighting cosmic things. Cosmic radiation hits her. She's like, "I'll absorb it." And binary, uh, space so, guy shows up and shoots beams at her. So if you get a blast from the, the magic, the magic lightning, fifty-fifty shot. If she does, she yeah. wins. If she does, she wins. Okay. If she doesn't. All right. So my last one. Is a uh, flash from the TV, all right? All right. In a foot race around our arena with Quicksilver from the movies. 
Now, now, Quicksilver from the movies actually looks like he goes faster than the Flash. Yeah, which Quicksilver from which movies? Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, like X Men Quicksilver or uh, Avengers Quicksilver. Let's say they're both the same pe- person. Okay. There's no, there's no really telling. Then no not. chance, Quicksilver. There's just more. They do more with the suit. They play more around with the super speed. Yeah. Uh, that one scene when he yeah, runs oh, through really... the all the different cops pointing their guns at different places, pushing the bullets all out of the way, yeah. making sure this guy's gonna punch himself. Like yeah, they Flash just plays around with the speed force. Yeah. Uh, Quicksilver plays around with the concept of super speed. Yeah, yeah. 